All right, it's not even 2K at this point. I'm not even gonna put the blame on 2K. Customer service. Take two is calling the shots. You know Big Brother is calling the shots. I'm gonna tell you why. In a little minute, it's gonna get juicy. Hold on, we're gonna get there. But right now, the information is 99 overall, Michael Jordan. We're getting a Jason Tatum. We're getting a 100 overall, LeBron James. Bowl Bowl is popping out. And we're getting your man 50 grand D-book. Look at that. Gladiators pack coming to the pack market. You know what I mean? More bait. Big bait. Big LeBron size bait. You know what I mean? Gladiator oh. bait. But other than that, it's a lot of money moves being made. And we got to get into it. I make money moves. And we're all being told to hush up and let them do what they do. We're gonna get into this playbook, but first, it's a lot going on. Pay attention. But you must have heard the fact that GTA 6 publisher, Take Two, will reportedly fire, and wait for the plot twist, will reportedly fire around 600 of its workforce, including Rockstar employees, and cancel several games to save $200 million. Yeah, so basically they're saying- So basically what they're saying is they need to consolidate. Take Two is consolidating right now. Now, if you don't know, the next thing coming up is going to be GTA 6 and I mean having layoffs and cutting back on they're they're terminating like four six of their projects now I mean I don't know what that means for us in the long run who knows if it's going to mean GTA 6 is going to get delayed I'm not I'm not the super news guy but we're going to dive into some of the super news and react to some of the super news coming up because that's what we I mean we just need to stay in the know Right now is a, I mean, it's a pressing time for everybody. Everybody, I mean, especially us in this 2K. This 2K game is crazy, bruh. They're trying to get us for every dollar. And I need my dollars. So, uh, it's been 24 hours. Got my money. All right. So, uh, we've, we've completed an agenda. We've got that Jerry Sloan. I mean, I don't care. I don't know if y'all care. I don't. I don't know if there's anything to y'all, but that's an accomplishment for me. And then we did get another, got another whoop de whoop. So that's that. But what I'm bringing to you right now, we're going to slip into the comment of the day. We scroll in the comment section and I see Mugan the Diamond Lion. Hey, I mess with that name. It's a cool game mode, but I hate when they let anyone do anything. At that point, what does it even matter? I mean, I, I feel you. I feel you. They give these players superpowers, but that's the point. To me, that's the point. It's just a fantasy game, you know what I mean? And that's what I like about it. That's what I love about the game mode. You know what I'm saying? We get a, we get our time to just go into fantasy mode and just have fun playing with our favorite players. For me, it's just about going and getting my favorite players that I know through history, that I know the history of, and just moving and grooving with them. You know what I'm saying? Okay, now that we've established that, let's establish the lesser of the two evils. We're still going to open packs. I mean, why not? Amare Stoudemire is our new 50 clutch time games to earn Dark Matter Stott. Well, let's look at him right now. Amare is a little bit undersized, a 6'10 power forward, small forward. Now, I do have a seven foot Larry marketing at small forward right now, and we we're going to get into a game in a gameplay to see what he is. But this Amari is seven foot one wingspan, six foot ten height from Cypress Creek High School, uh, 245 pounds. Look, this guy is him. If you don't know anything about Amari, Amari was with Steve Nash in Phoenix and they dominated 38 Hall of Fame badges. 31 gold ones. You can take a look at those right here. He has an 89 three-point shot. That 89 three-point shot can take you a long way. You throw a little boost on it, get a coach boost. You can get that up to, let's say, let's say 97, 98. You can get it up there. If you get the coach boost and a three-point shot boost, the inside scoring is upper 90s. So, I mean, eh, take it or leave it. He's going to be a wing player that can, he may be able to move and groove. So that's Amari for y'all. I mean, if you really want to get jiggy, I don't see no problem with going and getting jiggy if you go and win 50 clutch time games for Dark Matter Amari. On the player market is Mohamed Bamba. Mo Bamba for the lock-in. You're looking at upwards of 265,000 VC. So 265,000 of them things. 
in order to get this gladiator plus pack and then as far as mt 555 of them fizzangs that's wild we didn't went up times have changed and then as we know we got the gladiator challenge you got to go over here and get your challenge in four games you're going to get a gladiator pack you know what i'm saying no guarantee on what you're going to get in that pack but the rewards look okay you get a base pack gladiator base pack a couple of base packs a deluxe uh rim badge pack 2k vc 2k mt my fault and then you get the gladiator pack of course unsellable gladiator uh who knows what's in that you know what i mean sometimes it's some hit sometimes it's a miss but every time you can guarantee to swing for the fence because you're you you know what i mean we got these bold tools here that i'm still doing we got this gladiator pack yeah i mean it's these gladiator joints are gonna be ridiculous you get a gladiator a gladiator deluxe of course you got six days to go get this but in order to get that gladiator deluxe you got to get one triple double in a game you got to get five games using three bold players cavalier wins win a game using 13 cavalier players multiplayer earns seventy five thousand mt in multiplayer games single player earn 15,000 MT in single player games and then you got to complete the spotlights which I just showed you in the previous clip so it's not looking too too taxing it shouldn't be too hard to go get these bold wins triple double earn this uh this MT in these games here you can go play unlimited this weekend to get your unlimited ring to get you a a deluxe bracket buster pack you get another chance at a bracket buster we got two days to go do that unlimited that should get you your multiplayer gladiator challenge out the way i mean it's all on you though let's get into a pack i gotta get into a pack i mean that's the that's the other side you know of the evil the lesser of the two evils is even though 2k is going through what they're going through even though take two interactive is dusty and going through what they going through with these layoffs and these uh cancellations of different games that they want to cancel you know what i mean they want to consolidate their money they want to get their money together it sounds like they just making i make money moves you know what i mean so i can't fault them for that i can't all i can do is take my time to be me make sure i cover my bases and i am responsible with my spending i know it's a lot of video games coming out that i want to play in the near future so I have to be, I have to take account of that. I have to make sure that my gaming and as parents out there, if you, if you're buying games for your children and if you're, you know, if you're monitoring your children's spending, just monitor how much they're spending on your cards or on their, on their cards that you set up for them, monitor their spending, make sure that they're accountable for what they're spending out and have a way to make, teach them how to make money, teach your kids how to go accumulate some type of income or some type of revenue bro that's for real we're gonna we're gonna bust down this 10 pack as parents out there parenting gamers what i can tell you is make sure they get out there irl or online and learn how to open up a merchant store where they can build some income teach them how to maybe send them to a creator camp there are creator camps out there online creator camps that'll show your kids how to monetize gaming because it is a big field these days. That's just one thing I wanted to tap in on while we're spending money on these video games and we're always playing these video games. Maybe we spend a bunch of time on Fortnite, you spend a bunch of time on GTA and you're learning, you can learn so much. There's so much room for improvement and room to learn how to monetize and support your gaming situation as we get a shaker. That's what we've been looking for. We've just been looking for, let's shake something, baby. Oh, oh, we wasn't expecting that out of 10 box. Oh my gosh. Does that mean? Oh my gosh, we're dark. We didn't win zero dark 30. We getting a center from the east. We getting a, oh, we getting a Pat Ewan. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna frown at it. I'm not finna frown at Patrick Ewan. Let's look at his tail of the tape. All right, so. On the tail of the tape, we got a dark matter, Patrick Ewing from the New York Knicks, seven foot center power forward, uh, 38 Hall of Fames, 33 gold ones, 
And let's 87 three point shot. That's a little bit low, but I mean, I, I can't say that's not on point for Patrick Ewing. That is actually what his three pointer is worth. He can handle the ball a little bit with an 86 ball handle, 92 speed with ball, 98 offense and defense rebounding. When I when I look at this card, I'm thinking heavy defender, upper upper a 98 interior defense, uh, stamina strength very strong, 98. Shot close in mid 98. Um, standing dunk 95, driving dunk 95. So driving layup 95. So that's the sweet spot. You know what I mean? I told you that's the sweet spot. Post fade is on 98. Post moves, post hook on 98. That's pretty high up there. So he's an inside scorer. This is an inside center. This is a glass cleaner. He's very strong. He can hustle. You can throw a shoe on him and actually get some push. The the three point shot, I mean, like I said, with the coach boost and then with the shoe boost, you can get Buddy up to about 96 97 ish somewhere around there with the animations we got patrick ewan's jumper on very quick he has michael jordan's dribble style patrick ewan motion style darius garland signature size up i'm not seeing anything that's standing out here as far as the james harden step back you may be able to get some push with that nikolai joker he got jokers hop jumper so they're throwing they're throwing jokers hop jumper around the leaner is on normal um the free throws on 40 long athlete layup package he has 12 dunk packages to work with. So, I mean, that's that. He's a very good inside scorer. You can throw that boost on his inside scoring and get that to 99 because it's right there at the sweet spot. As far as tendencies, I'm seeing a lot of red in here. His standing dunk is green. Shot contest, contested shot is green. Defensively, he's, eh, I don't know, 98 on 99 on touches. I don't know what that means. He can get a lot of reps in. Maybe you can you can work you can work with him heavy. He can get a lot of ISO versus poor defender. He can ISO versus poor defender. You can put him back to the basket and get straight there. Shot under the basket is high. I see. Mm, he drives to the right. He likes to go right. His post up is on 99. Definitely. I can tell you from what I remember about Patrick Ewing, his post up is on 99. So if you're looking to use this card, that's a little bit of what you might want to get into with him. He only has a couple of iterations. I have fun running the diamond version of bro. So this pink diamond version of bro just might be Himothy Jackson. I don't know who that is, but it's a lot of Himothys out there. So that is what that is. Anyway, we got Patrick Ewing out of the, we got him out of the joint. We'll give him a, toasty. he's toasty. We might get toasted. Yeet. That's a pretty crazy pickup. I didn't, I didn't expect it's a yeet, but only because I'm looking for I'm looking for that Braun Braun. We're looking for that Mike Jordan, you know what I'm saying? That Pac-5 nothing. But back to what I was saying about monetizing this thing, it's not hard to get monetized. Okay, it's a, it's work. It takes work to get monetized. It'll take years. It'll take you a few years to really even learn how to create content that can get monetized, but it's not it's not out of the realm of possibilities. So, you know, just learn, teach your kids how to game responsibly because it's easy to throw away a lot of money doing nothing on these games. Uh, pack eight, nothing. A little bit of, let's talk about your mom and them. Oh, we got another shake too. See, I knew your mom and them would be good luck. I knew it. I knew it. Is that, that's, oh, oh. That's a Gopal. Point guard zero. Who is who? Scoot Henderson. So I believe Scoot Henderson's a lock in. We got us one of them lock ins. You know what I mean? OK, OK, we one step closer. I think he was one of the lesser of the lock ins. I'm not sure if he was a, a higher value lock in or not. But I mean, for for 100 KVC, that's not a bad situation to be in. We got a couple of little hitters, you know what I'm saying? And that's all you can really expect out of this. W, the W pack, that was a W box. Any box where you get a dark, I'm gonna call it a W. All right, so we know Patrick Ewing is a slight little W, a little slight W. Let's, let's get into what he's talking about though. Let's talk about it with bro. Okay, if we pull enough from three with buddy, ooh, that jump shot is a little heavy for mid. It's, it's a little bit better from it. It's a little bit better from it. But from out here, oh, we're going to need a shoe boost, baby. From the corner, it's probably money. Let's call it money from the corner. Yes, yeah, a little. That's a little ratchet. Let's get ratchet. Let's get ratchet. If we're talking post moves, though, 
Oh yeah, he's looking good. A little lay in. A little lay in. Let's call him a little hopper. A hopper popper, you know what I mean? Let's work from around this box with buddy. A little little hop. This is where you the sweet spot for bro. You want to get to one of these lines right here? You throw a little post move and then post him. You know what I mean? Throw a little little faint and then hook. You know what I'm saying? That's what you want to do with buddy. It's really what you want to do with buddy. I mean, you can come out here to this high, this high box right here around this first line and just roll off. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just like that. And then, you know, they said he likes the right side of the court. So, yeah, I mean, he likes to go right. So, yeah, go right with bro as much as you can. You know what I'm saying? He's going to be thugging to the end, though. I'm telling you. That post, that post shot, him out of the post is going to be money. If you know how to get right here, throw a feint, and then drop step, bang, he's him. But don't don't sleep, though. Don't sleep, though. He still can get out here in regular fashion and throw them down. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's just what that is on him. Big Pat Ewan, you know what I'm saying? Thug into the end. Tell a friend, you know what I mean? From the logo. Bust it. Kobe. Kobe. Let's see what Scoot Henderson out here talking about first. Oh, the cigs aren't looking too bad. Let's get to the tail of the tape on bro and see what he's really talking about, though. Because that's going to be really dynamic. Scoot Henderson out here, he has three iterations. He has three iterations. So he's a 6'2". He's kind of small. 6'2 point guard, shooting guard. Out of Portland. Came from the G League. The Ignite. 27 Hall of Fame badges. 33 gold ones. A 91 three-point shot. That's a little bit low. You could take a look at these badges. They're a little bit low too. You know what I mean? But what can you ask for out of this situation? He has a 99 speed, 99 acceleration, 99 vertical. Scoot is a monster. I mean, on paper, he's a monster. 98 driving dunk. 97 driving layup. 99 speed with ball, 98 ball handle. That that begs me to ask, what in the world are these SIGs looking like? These SIGs are, they're not looking too bad. Kyrie, dribble style, elite motion style, Derrick Rose signature size up, escape move on Kevin Durant, Ja Morant combo moves, Ja Morant breakdown moves, pro crossover. Moving behind the back is pro. I would like something better out of that, but he's, you know, they got to limit him a little bit. He can't be at, okay, looking at Galaxy Opal right now in the climate that we're in, we got Dark Matters out, so Galaxy Opals have to be a step back. With the floater specialist, though, and then seven dunk package is a little bit low for him to have such vertical and such physicals that the physicals were heavy. The triple threat, triple threat style, can I talk, is on Steph Curry, moving hesitation on John Wall, Carl Anthony Towns spin move for some reason, and then John Wall's moving step back. That moving step back is going to be his go-to pro two leaner. Scoot Henderson on very quick for the jumper. Hop jumper on normal, pro spin jumper. The post fade is normal, post hook is normal. So, I mean, let's call it what it is. It's, it's upper mid for this climate, for the climate that we're in right now. 99 on the drive tendency, driving crossover, 99. Uh, driving dribble hezzy is on 80. We got a green pull up, drive pull up three point, drive pull up mid, 99 tendency. So he's gonna be he's gonna excel on the on the dribble drive pull up. Spot up three is on 85. He has a green shot under the basket, green close shot. In the freelance, he likes to shoot. He can get touches. He can he can tolerate a lot of touches. Uh, 80 driving dunk tendency, 99 driving layup tendency, 85 on the floater. So that's where he's going to excel. Spot up three. He's really going to excel on a dribble drive, pull up, mid-range, and three-point. That is what we love to see out of a point guard. But I would like to see a little bit more out of a card like this. So we're going to call him upper mid. I mean, it just is what it is at that point. I like what I'm feeling, though, out of this dribble drive game. I did say to myself as soon as I saw, yeah, that. When I saw that, I was like, yeah, I can work with that. I like working with that. Yeah, the dribble drive into the... Oh, he's thugging. He's out here thugging. Yeah, I like how it feels pulling up off, off these off these six. Yeah, he's feeling like kind of Shea Gildress a little bit. You know, I wouldn't be mad if... uh, 
I wouldn't be mad if I fielded him to actually run for me because I kind of like how he's feeling off the pull up that with that 99 dribble drive dribble drive pull up tendency you know that's heavy oh he's feeling bouncy too like he's really feeling bouncy I'm not scoring a lot of these shots but Scoot Henderson is actually a nice pull we might run him against somebody like just pulling up off of that that's heavy that's not light work you know what I mean it takes a lot to to work for that shot throw a pick somewhere in here okay I, I box myself I hate when I do that that's the I mean that's the worst thing in the world is or it is just to box yourself outside the three-point line yeah that dribble pull up is it's kind of heavy I'm liking bro all right let's let's pop one more single pack just to see what it's we're gonna just test the waters see what it's okay nothing shaking Eh, that's pretty tough flip all okay we got another uh emmanuel quickly can you get off my screen quickly please all right let's get into the tail of the tape we're gonna go light today we're going quick we're gonna float right through this first we got arvidas the bonus that's papa sabonis he's seven foot three believe it or not this man is a cheat code i'm not gonna lie to you at all now in an effort to get through this quick arvidas sabonis is a center from Lithuania, played for the Portland Trail Blazers back in my day, Unk's day. He has 27 Hall of Fame badges, 22 gold ones. Bruh has a 95 three-point shot. You can pause these badges where you would like to. He needs some defensive badges. I mean, to be a Galaxy Opal, he's not looking too bad. 95 offense and defensive rebounding. Uh, driving dunk is on 85, standing dunk is on 95. Ooh, as my controller falls off the map. All right, yeah, my bad. We trying to slide through this as quickly as possible though, because I want to open another 20 pack, another 20 pack. I just, I'm just feeling like, like that's just going to be, I mean, I figured out the VC situation. It's not going to get taken back. So we might as well. All right. Passing. He's, his passing is pretty high. Speed with ball and ball handle was low. 75. He's at 75 speed, 70 acceleration, 80 vertical. I mean, buddy is, he's a cheat code, honestly, but you're going to have to work for it. You're going to have to know how to move and groove. Default big with the layup packages. With the layup package, uh night he has five. He has five dunk packages. And that's all he's really gonna need to freak it. He might be able to rival out there with the likes of Robert Parrish. Um, he just might be able to go bar for bar with some of the best centers in the game because it's not hard to. But the only thing I can say is your win Benyamas of the world are gonna have your Wimbin Yamas are going to have the dribbles. They're going to have the speed. They're going to have the signature moves to get by. But at the end of the day, Sabonis is not going to be peg legged out here. He has Robert Williams and Kyle Anderson on very quick. Um, nothing I'm seeing is standing out. But if, as for a center, you don't really need much. He's just a big. He's going to be big and play big, be big. You know what I mean? So it's not a bad pickup. Y'all can go ahead and read it for the. For the just of it, we got JJ Redick out here. JJ Redick is a spot up shooter on everything. 6'3, point guard, shooting guard out of uh, Duke. Played for the Orlando Magic. He has 27 Hall of Fame badges, 26 gold ones. The 99 three point shot, like I told you. Buddy is that guy. He's the guy that's going to hit any shot you put him in, any situation you put him in. You know what I mean? Buddy is actually him. If you need a spot up shooter, Redick is him. If you pull Reddick, you got lucky. He's not really going to be much off the dribble. But he does have some sigs with him. He does have the jelly layup package. This is what I would have asked for out of. See, this is what I would have asked. Well, OK, we got the Kimball moving step back. 15 dunk packages. We got James Harden escape. I, I would like that to be a little something else. We got Devin Booker dribble style. I mean, JJ Reddick on very quick, normal leaner. Okay, I would have asked for the Pro 2 leaner, but but I mean, it's it's not out of pocket. They did him better than they did Jamal Crawford with a 95 driving dunk, 92 driving layup. I'm not seeing nothing too bad out of here. Crawford did have more dribbling. And he's off the dribble a little better. The defense looks about the same. I'm not going to put him side to side right now, but we may do that in a different video. JJ Reddick is not looking like an L, though. This is not looking... It's not making me mad. He's one of my more favorite players. 
So that didn't make me mad at all. We got Devin Booker out here. Our first Dark Matter, we're going to take a peek at. 38 Hall of Fame badges, 30 gold ones. Now, this, this dude has a 98 three-point shot. He's not bad. That's not bad. That's actually... It's actually what I'm asking for. 97 ball handle, 96 speed with ball. We're looking at a 96 speed, 96 acceleration, 98 close shot, 98 mid, um, 90 driving dunk, 97 draw foul. He's not going to work out in the post too well, but you can't have everything. We got Devin Booker on very quick. Devin Booker's layup package. We got, what, 13 dunk packages on, bro. Devin Booker... Devin Booker, Devin Booker, as far as the dribble, it's all Booker. He has Tatum's move, Tatum's spin move, and three pro packages. The escape is pro, behind the back is pro, moving step is pro, hesitation is pro. I wonder how that's going to work out for bro. The leaner is on Devin Booker. He's Devin Booker. He's pretty much Devin Booker. Post fade two. Pro two, I'm sorry. Um, eh. Y'all could take a peek at these tendencies. I'm not going to read them off and go through them like that. If we pull him, I will go through them and show you what them tendencies are talking about. But Devin Booker is looking like a actual W. Jason Tatum, 6'8". Okay, small forward shooting guard. A okay, small forward shooting guard. I'm, I'm, look, it might be a hot take. This card is just okay. This card, I'm going to tell you that this card is just okay because I took a peek already. 38 Hall of Fame badges, 29 gold ones, 97 three-point shot. You can stop and take a look at these badges if you want to. Okay, look, this card is just okay because the badges could be a little bit heftier. That's one reason why this card is just okay. Okay, 90, 96 speed, 96 acceleration, 98 driving dunk, 97 driving layup. The speed with ball and ball handle could be a little higher, but it's 96, 97. It's upper 90s. I'm not mad at that. The defense could be a little bit heftier, a little bit heftier, but it's upper 90s for his perimeter for his steal. His block could be a little heftier, but this card is not bad. As far as these animations, we got Steph Curry's dribble style. We got Jason Tatum's most motion, Jason, Tatum, Jason Tatum's signature size up. Escape moves on Curry. I love that for him. I love that for this card. Everything else is on Jason Tatum. The combo move is on pro. The moving behind the back is on pro. The hezzy is on pro. Where they threw all of those pros in, I would like a little bit more variation. I'm not going to lie to you. That's that's another reason why this card is just okay. Um, default swing layer package. Only six dunk packages. I would like them to step that up. And then Jason Tatum on very quick. Pro 2 leaner. This card is, I want to call it mid, but it's not mid. It's not mid. It's, it's a just okay dark matter. And I understand that it's not the premier gladiator card, so they did what they had to do for a 6'8 small forward shooting guard, though. He's he's above size, and he's going to run the shooting guard if I do get him. But I have better defenders to put at the two, so I don't know. In this climate, this card is just not what I would want it to be for me to run him at the two spot. I mean, yeah, it is what it is. Moving right along, we got Michael LaJordan. Now, this is going to get sticky. I'm going to have to just call it a hot take. Michael LeJordan is garbage. This is a garbage card for two or three reasons. Maybe two reasons. I probably have two solid reasons. The third one may be a reach. Reason number one, I'm going to give you reason number one off top. We don't need another shooting guard, point guard that doesn't have a 99 three-point shot. He has 38 badges, 33 gold ones. There's already the problem with this card. The second reason, the second solid reason is that we already have a 100 overall iteration of this card. Now, there are stipulations to this reason. The caveats will be you aren't going to really get your hands on the 100 overall version of this card. Like it, the odds of us getting our hands on 100 overall, Mike, it may not happen until in game. It may not happen until the game has run its course and we have cards that have all Hall of Fame badges, cards that have everything that you want. And this is just not the best card in the game. It's one of the this 100 overall, Mike, is one, these 100 overalls are some of the best cards in the game. 
I mean, despite not having some of the sigs that you would want. Okay, but let's jump into Gladiator Jordan. La Michael, La Jordan James. 38 Hall of Fame badges, 33 gold ones, 96 three-point shot. It's over the cusp of what it takes to get a 99 with a shoe boost, so we'll give him that. 98 speed with ball, 96 ball handle, upper 90, 99 driving layup, 99 driving dunk, 98 draw foul. This card is a beast, but it is is garbage in the relation to its predecessor. You know what I mean? I mean, to say that your predecessor is 100 overall and then you are 99 is crazy. For the best, for the newest version of you to be less than the best version of you is crazy to me. I just, it just don't, it just don't fit well. 99 lateral quickness, 98 perimeter defense, I mean, 99 still, come on, he's a, he's, a, he's a biscuit. He's a hefty biscuit. 98 speed with ball, 98 acceleration. Uh, the strength could be a little higher at 90. The strength is 90. That that kind of sits, that sits a little bit. We got Michael Jordan on very quick. That sits a little, to have strength on 90 sits a little, it sits a little rank. I don't know what to call it. I'm looking for a word. You can see me struggling to find a word. That's a little funky. That got some, that right there, Oh man, look, okay, we got Michael Jordan layup package. He has 11 dunk packages. To have a 99 dunk and only have 11 dunk packages, that's a little bit trash too, 2K. Y'all kinda, y'all kinda blowing mine, you know what I mean? Pro 2 leaner, Michael Jordan dribble style, Kawhi Leonard motion style, Steve Francis signature size up, Kimba's escape move, that's heavy. Combo moves on Tim, Timmy Hardaway, De'Aaron Fox breakdown, Moving crossover is on John Wall. Moving behind the back is on Pro. Moving step back is on John Wall. That's a plus. That moving, that John Wall moving step back is okay. It's okay. Yeah, I mean, that's just not a, that's not a terrible step back in my eyes. The moving spin is on Pro and then the moving hesitation on Luka Ladoncic, Ladon James. Um, yeah, I mean, the prognosis for me, I would say this card is some upper mid compared to what we compared to the 100 overall version of this card side by side i'm not gonna do the side by side but just to say the side by side is terrible if we pull him i'll show you the tendencies we'll have another video dedicated directly to bro six six point guard shooting guard out of north carolina michael la jordan the g-o-a-t james okay uh hmm Moving right along, we got Ball Ball. This is a card that I want to pull. A 7-2 center power forward. This this kid is crazy. I want to see the six. I'm just ready to get into the six. Straight out of Oregon. Six, I mean a seven foot eight wingspan, 38 Hall of Fame badges, 29 gold ones. I'm gonna go ahead and say that this card is off the charts. Before I even scroll, I want to say that this kid is off the charts. He has a 92 three-point shot. Uh, the badges the badges could be a step up we could take a step up on the badges but okay the rebounding wait a minute this isn't what i thought it would be at all for him to be a dark matter okay he is seven foot two he does play the power forward position but this rebounding is kind of i mean at least it's 95 i'll give him that 90 speed with ball 93 ball handling maybe that's where some of the rebounding went they did give him uh, enough ball handling to get jiggy 90 speed they gave him enough speed to get jiggy 92 three-point shot 93 mid 94 close the driving dunk is at 85 but the standing dunk is at 95 okay I, he gave they gave him a little room they gave him a little room he has three iterations he does have three iterations he is kind of lanky he's the lanky arm of the law yeah bowl bowl on very quick default big layup package 12 dunk packages Let's say, let's say he gets to the cup. Let's say he gets to the cup because he has Kobe Bryant's dribble style, elite motion style, Tracy McGrady signature size up, the skate moves on Kevin Durant, combo moves on Trey Young, breakdown pro, moving crossover pro. I would like him to have a different moving crossover. The moving step back on Chris Paul, I would trade that for something a little bit better. Moving behind the back on James, these sigs don't look like 
they don't look like he's moving and grooving like he should be but we would have to pull the card and be able to move with him to even see so i'm gonna give this card some upper mid i'll give him some upper mid i mean it looks like 2k trolled with this i'm just gonna call it what it is it looks like they really hit a troll series with bro i mean it could be worse though we're gonna say it could be worse now on to lebron le james jordan 45 hall of fame badges 19 gold ones think about that that's on old gen you pull him on new gen 53 hall of fame badges 23 gold ones this man has everything oh my gosh i don't really know what to say i don't know what to call it we got a 99 three-point shot you can check these badges out if i didn't scroll through too fast alpha dog expressive extremely confident friendly and pat my back pat me on the back 99 everything on this card i don't see a 98 yet oh yeah i don't see a 98 at all let me scroll through and make sure okay we got 98 post hook that makes a difference 98 ball handle that makes a big difference with a shoe this card is 99 on paper this is a 6'9 point guard small forward you can run him at the one or the three from St. Vincent, St. Mary High School from the Cleveland. Can I speak? This is LeBron James. Let me talk. Cleveland Cavaliers. Man, this card is dangerous, bro. 98 free throw. I only see three 98s. OK, so we see a 98 free throw. We see a 98 post hook. We see a 98 ball handle. And that's it. Where else do we see a 98? All of these are 99. That's crazy to me. The animations is what's going to make or break this card. We got LeBron James on very quick. LeBron James contested. LeBron James free throw pro two leaner. Kareem's post hook. LeBron's post fade. He has LeBron James layup package. 13 dunk packages. And as far as these signatures, the signature dribbles, dribble style is on Kyrie. Kawhi Leonard's motion style. Size up is on Steve Francis. Trey Young's escape. That's all I need. That's all I need. I will Trey Young escape to greatness with this card. Tim Hardaway's combo. Breakdown moves on LeBron. Pro crossover. I mean, moving crossover on LeBron. Moving behind the back is on pro. Moving step back is on John Wall. I can get jiggy with that. Between the escape moves and the step back, I will escape and step back into freedom with this card. Um, Somebody call... Harriet Tubman, tell her to give me the map because we found the moves that we need to get to the cup with this card. Moving spin is on Penny Hardaway. I like that moving spin. I'm not going to lie. The hesitation is on Chris Paul. I like that hezzy. It, it has a juicy little throw out. I do like that hezzy. And then the triple threat is on LeBron James. This card is a W. This 100 overall card is actually a W. They gave him the signature moves that it would take to actually to get jiggy. You can use these King James as him. These tendencies. Yeah, I mean, you can scroll through and check them out. I, it looks like some of them could be a little a little higher. Um, hey, we got us a W. Got it. We got us a W. These the gladiators. These gladiators are tough. We're not going through every gladiator, but we went through the gladiators that we wanted to see. And these gladiators are not bad. Man, look how Mo Bamba looking at these gladiators. I want to be a gladiator. Why well, I can't gladiate. Let's, like, look, the video been long enough, but what we're going to do, we're going to jump into this 20 back. I mean, it's just it's just right. It's, it just makes sense. It just makes sense to me. Like the 10 box wasn't bad. As we shake a pink diamond out of the first pack, the 10 box wasn't bad. So we gonna have to jump in and get in where we fit in. We need all of these pink diamonds for the lock in at least, at least as we open a Derek Lively, I'll take him. He has a dynamic goal. And I mean, that's always cool. Record four blocks and four steals in a game by using Derek Lively the second. I didn't know he was a junior. Derek Lively Jr. Jr. All right, man. Pack two. We need some shakers. Let's shake up. Shake up. We got another shake up. Who y'all think this is? 
it's a gopal shakeup. That's crazy. That is crazy to me. We got us a gopal shakeup out of this. This pack is looking kind of good, kind of early. Okay. Okay, JJ Reddick. All right, JJ Reddick. We was looking for, but hey, we was looking for Buddy. We were looking for Buddy. He may just make the team. We may be able to use you. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be a spot up threat. That's actually going to be our spot up threat. I'm not going to hold you. We got another shake. That's it's jumping. It's jumping. What? Three packs in and we shook three times. I don't know. I don't know, 2K. It's another Gopal. Oh my goodness. Look, man. The way this is going, the way this is going, we may have got too lucky too early as we get Sabonis. I told you to look, the Sabonis video, the Gladiator video is going to be jumping. If I can get five Gladiators to throw on the court at the same time, we may have a video idea on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. We may just be able to do something. What Kobe. are these juice pack odds? What are these juiced up, souped up pack odds when four packs I've shook four times? It's April and this is for the 420. And then we get another pink diamond. We need we need one more for the lock in. Let's get something we didn't have. Let's get something that we don't have. OK, OK, Denver, come through. Come through, Peyton. We need you. We needed to see you. You know what I mean, buddy? Little buddy's out here. So, I mean, we shook four times. I can expect that this one. Yeah, I didn't think we would shake five times in a row. That would have been crazy. Hopefully we didn't juice out all of our pack luck in the first four packs because we actually need we need a few players. We need a few good men. Pause. Big pause. I mean, OK, we just need a few good guys to put around us, a few good gladiators to go into war with. You know what I'm saying? We need a few of these things. Tyrese Maxey, get out of here. We don't need you. We don't need Tyrese Maxey. What we need is LeBron James or Michael LaJordan, Jamal Murray. Oh, my God. Remember, he did the Drake thing before Drake did the Drake thing. But Drake was more famous. So Drake's Drake thing was a little bit paused. Never mind. Michael Bridges. OK. Um. OK, we got another shaker and that one looks like it's dancing. It's another gulp. That gulp, gulp, gulp. Let's see what we get out of this one, bro. We need. OK, it's a point guard. Who is this? I think we have him already. Uh, Scoot Henderson. Yeah, we got Scoot. We did pop Scoot out the first. OK, so we got an extra Scoot. Do we take the MT off of bro? Do we take the MT? Or do we go with trading him in for a reroll? Because we could reroll that. That could be the reroll. As we get Clay Thompson, Biscuit Zero Thompson. That was kind of hard to deal with. Pac 12, Ty Ty Washington. What up, Ty? Um, that's a good kid. Ty Ty's a good kid. Okay, we get another pink diamond out this joint. Let's get something that we don't have though. We need the lock-in, bro. We're going for that lock-in. Show me something good. Okay, we already have buddy. I'm pretty sure we already pulled Buddy. Derek Lively. Yeah, we did pull Derek Lively. He's a dynamic goal. We got to give, what, four rebounds with Buddy. So that's what that is. We can actually throw him into the lock-in. He's a pink diamond. I mean, not the lock-in. We could throw him into the uh, exchange. Maybe we can re-roll for something. Ivan Zubak. I remember when he was a Laker. I have some, I have some good memories from him being a Laker, but I also have some terrible memories. I didn't have a good, it wasn't a good time. Jalen Green. Okay get out of here we don't need you in our packs Jalen Hood Shifano who named you Hood Shifano okay it is what it is that is what it is pack 17 we got another goal we got another goal buddy interior defense plus one upper body we're gonna have an interior defender upper body with three strength and a thunder playbook what is this what is going on I need to see that dark matter glow one more time though. If we can get like, if we can get like, like Devin Booker, LeBron James, another school. So we're definitely throwing one of these schools into the reroll. I don't know why they want to keep throwing me school. I need to see that dark matter glow one more time though, boss. If we could get that dark matter glow up at you one more time, I would definitely feel like this was 
like a super W pack. It's already a W. It's already was a W box. The box is a W already. I cannot hold you. Oh, we get another pink glow. So it is what it is. Hopefully it's something we don't have. The center. Oh, we already have, buddy. Okay, we got three of you. We've gotten four of you at this point. I don't know. I mean, at this point, you're in these packs. We can. I can tell you one thing. Derek Lively is in these packs for me. He was in here for me. He showed up. He showed out. This was a W box. As we get no shake on 20. Oh, man. Man. Derek White, man. Get your bald head self. Okay, so we got some we got some business moves to make. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, so they came through. All of those doubles, all of them duplicates came through. We got us a Gladiator Deluxe. Let's open that joint up. I'm not even going to pause you. We're not even going to hold you. It's a lot of cars to scroll through, but we about to scroll through and roll two to re-roll you. Bars. Y'all didn't know I was a rap phenom, huh? Let's go ahead and open this pack, though. We got time today. Can we get a shake? We need something out this deluxe. Oh, and that hurts. That hurts to get a pink hurts. I was hoping that we would see 100 overall to get the same. So we know we know for a fact that Derek Lively, the second is alive and well in these packs. But why, though? Why, 2K? Why would I reroll for that? That hurts. That hurts a lot. That stings. But we got another. We can throw him in there. We need two more of him. If we get a couple more, who knows? We can make anything happen. All right. So the one thing I can't say is 2K got enough of my VC up off me. They got a, enough of my VC up off me. But I got I got 35 MT. And we look, we achieving. We, we achieving agendas out here. You know what I mean? Why not just throw a base pack in the air? We just throw a base pack in the air. See what sticks. We actually got to go see what JJ Reddick is moving and grooving like because he could be moving and grooving. What other gladiators did we just get? Can you put in the comment section what gladiator you want? Because, I mean, I want to know. I want to know what gladiator you like out of all these gladiators. Me, my favorite gladiator in this whole pack would have to be Bobo. I really want that Bobo. That um, The one that I want the most is Bobo. My favorite gladiator, I'm going to have to say, isn't even a dark matter. The favorite gladiator is is honestly it's gonna be JJ Reddick. JJ Reddick, I'm happy that I got him out of that box. It is what it is. We're gonna scroll through here as we get a pink diamond shaker. Okay, hopefully it's another lively and we can throw him back into the reroll. Nope. Okay. Okay. That's just how the world works. We get Kevin Durant. I didn't even know that was possible. But I guess out of the base packs you can get anything. Okay, I, it makes sense. It just makes sense. Um, I'm hungry and I still got to edit this video. So you guys are lucky that I am dedicated to bringing you exactly what I'm bringing you right now. Just a little, just a little shum shum. I'm trying to get y'all a gameplay. I'm trying to get y'all a select gameplay. I want to get y'all uh, some my career type. Of, I'm back into my career right now. I'm trying to get y'all something hefty. That 10 box was kind of shallow. Is there anything we can add to the exchange? This gladiator needs one. That's a diamond. That's a regular gladiator. We don't we don't want that. We're going to just throw all of this. We're going to just throw all of this back into our MC pocket. I'm not going to hold you. Um, Let's see what JJ Reddick talking about, though. All right, man, lock in, lock in, lock in, lock in, lock in. Y'all kind of y'all kind of not locked. I need y'all to lock in, bro. I really do. All right, let's see what JJ moving like. We got Zach Levine combo moves. I think that's the combo move. Yeah, mid. Is that the combo move? That might be the signature size up. That's the deer and fox signature size up. Let's see what we can combo out of that. I'm not mad at him. I mean, moving off the dribble, it's, it's feeling okay in here. We offline with him, but. But he kind of popping into his spot. I see him locking into a spot. Oh, I whiffed that one. The spot finder is working. Eh, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I mean, I can't call it in here. I would have to see what he's moving like online. But just stepping back into that shot is kind of 
eh, it's kind of slow. It's kind of slow. So he's a dedicated spot up. I mean, we may be able to add some badges that'll make him jump bad, but for the most part, I'm not, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling that re that Rajon Rondo Hezzy. I'm not feeling that escape. I'm not feeling that escape at all. I'm not feeling that moving step back. I'm just not, he's not getting enough of a push for me. And then the jumper is kind of, I'm not finding it. I'm slightly early. I'm very early. I'm just not finding this. So JJ Reddick on very quick is going to be a struggle to actually remember to hold. I mean, I'm just, it's like, okay, that hold, I held it. I held that one, right? It's kind of like he has a little hitch in his shot where he, where he kind of holds the ball in his release position for a second. Like he sits in that pocket and kind of, kind of gives it a good judgment call. I would like him to be more of a, more of a, uh, a quicker release on that. But once he gets souped and you find the spot, you're there. It took me a second to find that spot, but he's there. I'm there with him. All right. And let's see what Papa Sabonis is talking about. Oh no. Oh no, baby. It went in though. It actually went in. I can't, I cannot falter there. I cannot. Why Craig? Why Craig? Okay. So Papa Sabonis with that 95 three point shot. It's not bad. The step back is slow. He's he's slow. He's a slow guy, but if we're gonna if we're gonna keep it real, if we're gonna keep it real, we're not looking for him to do too much on the offensive side. Except for like really spot up. Maybe if he if he gets trapped in his corner in uh split act, you know what I mean? We gotta get him trapped in that corner split act. Maybe pick and roll. Maybe a little pick and roll. We throw him in a pick and roll situation, and what is he worth? You know what I'm saying? With a night with an 85 driving dunk, that's kind of low. We want to get him to the basket and use that 95 standing dunk. We can get down here easy and just stand and dunk with him. I mean, it is what it is. Papa Sabonis. You know what I'm saying? But that's where we are with ours. Hey, look, I held y'all long enough. Go ahead, like the video. I hope you subscribe to the channel, and I hope you enjoyed spending your time with me because I enjoy doing this for y'all. You know what I mean? But uh, at the end of the day, y'all be cool. Because it's the end of the day. What else is there to do? Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.